Sunday is World Prematurity Day, a time to raise awareness about the dangerous and even deadly health consequences of premature birth. In the U.S., preterm birth is a leading cause of infant deaths, and new data shows the country has a long way to go to protect women and their babies. CNN's Mandy Gaither looks at the numbers and explains why experts believe U.S. infants are dying at high rates. She passed. For the third year in a row, the U.S. gets a D-plus grade from the March of Dimes annual report on maternal and infant health for its high preterm birth rate. Mothers and babies deserve better. For every 1,000 babies born in 2023, about six died, according to provisional CDC data. That death rate is the same as the year before, and the March of Dimes report finds the rate of preterm births remained at 10.4% last year. Those are babies born before 37 weeks gestation, again unchanged from the previous year. So it's remaining at historically high levels. Dr. Amanda Williams says racial disparities also persist. For black people, the preterm birth rate is one and a half times higher than the rate among all other babies. The March of Dimes report says certain risk factors are contributing to the high overall preterm birth rates. First, the number of people who have chronic conditions during pregnancy and inadequate prenatal care. A third of all counties in the United States are maternity care deserts. And that means that there is no prenatal care provider, no obstetrician, no midwife, no family practice doc who does OB, and no maternity unit. William says identifying high-risk pregnant people and improving access to care are keys to reversing the high preterm birth trend. We have to think about how can we keep our hospitals open and how can we make sure that we have providers who can take good care of patients. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.